welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the channel so the photo you're seeing on the screen is that of sharon and jerry now sharon jerry has been trending online because um sharon jerry apparently unalived herself in front of her husband and the husband did nothing but encourage her to go ahead i've actually watched the full video and it's really really haunting um, I don't know how a human being can just sit around and see another human being and alive themselves. I don't care if they were going through something. I don't care if you had issues. But the fact that the man is seated down and this woman goes ahead and does whatever she does is actually very, very sad. And so I am in as I speak so that you can see it. But in this video today, I wanted to tell the story of Sharon because a lot of people have said so many things on the internet, including how many times she has tried to unalive herself. Um, she was toxic. She was this and that. So her story is actually relatable. This story is courtesy of a guy called Simon. Uh, he has narrated this story. He does like crime stories on Facebook. So from what I've gathered from family and friends, Sharon Mwangi was suffering from clinical depression. According to her friends, her mental health issues started during the COVID-19 lockdown. Before COVID, the couple was doing well as they popularized the Lambalolo brand. The COVID, then COVID hit and the entire hospitality industry, including entertainment, collapsed, affecting the couple's financial stability. Sharon was a hardworking lady. According to those who knew her, she stepped in for her partner and took care of their expenses, including school fees, rent and food. She even moved the family to a cheaper house in Kariobangi South to cut down expenses. At one point, she even took a loan to cover her parents, her partner's debts. Sharon was also supporting her parents back home, especially her mother, who was facing some challenges after COVID-19. The DJ started getting gigs at a popular joint along Thika Road, and within no time, he started getting lucrative deals. Money started to flow and the DJ rented a house for a mistress along Thicker Road where he would spend time away from his family. The woman who had stood by him through thick and thin was now on the receiving end. He would even post flashy photos on holidays in Diani while Sharon struggled to pay bills and loans. The DJ's many girlfriends started mocking her and sending her messages professing their love to him. This broke Sharon, and the bubbly and hardworking woman became a shell of herself. According to the family and friends, Sharon was not as before this incident. I don't want to say that word because you'll not see this video. Her depression crept in when the DJ started to disrespect her, leading to a separation at one time. A close friend confided that Sharon loved her children so much and wanted her marriage to work, which is why she stepped in for her partner when things were bad. She loved her firstborn from a past relationship as much as she loved Papa, the DJ's son. Sharon unlived herself. The DJ had arrived in the morning as she and the house girl were preparing the children for school some minutes past 7 a.m. Sharon had been drinking the previous night, resulting in an argument because the DJ arrived home in the morning. Sharon was already in a bad mental state and S was already premeditated. The DJ had an opportunity to stop her from unaliving herself, but he chose to watch her die. According to neighbors, the DJ is very arrogant and violent and they only intervened when the house help started screaming for help. Even then, the DJ remained unmoved. And the neighbors knew something was wrong when Sharon's daughter started to scream too. That's when the DJ started to look busy and started running up and down seeking to assist her 10 minutes after she collapsed. According to a close friend, one of the women posting screenshots of how Sharon was toxic, troublesome, dramatic and obsessed is among the women who were sending Sharon mockery messages when she was slipping into depression. So that's all we know so far about this story. I hope that uh, people are going to speak out. Uh, people who, know, who knew Sarah individually are not embarrassed to come out and tell Sharon's story. We didn't need to, to, to hear her story. Uh, even though she's not here, I'm sure her friends are out here, her colleagues, people she did business with. I don't know. I'm sure there's somebody somewhere who knows her deeply and can share her story. Story. Now, it's so unfortunate that actually this incident happened a long time ago and Sharon has already been buried.
but people are still pushing for some form of justice and someone actually uh, one of i think he's a lawyer or something he's actually highlighted that uh, there's actually a penal code that can charge this man Aaron's family is willing to push this but i guess at this point they are feeling defeated so again this is where pro bono lawyers come in so i don't know but we'll keep sharing her story maybe just maybe someone will take on this case and justice will be served for her and especially for her children die like a dog honestly like a dog anyway this is all i know about this story so far thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel thank you for watching this video guys if you're not subscribed it's the best time to subscribe now i'll catch you on the next one bye